Happy New Year, people. Mumu, there we go. Okay, there we go. Momo's made his first appearance in 2020. And my headroom's all off. I'll fix that in a minute. But, um, hello! Uh, I am going to talk about why I think the Nintendo Switch is going to run away with things in the next cycle. Now, those of you who know me know I am a PlayStation fan. And so this may come as a surprise to you that I am taking this viewpoint. That's what I like to do. I like to mix it up. I like to keep people guessing. There's no point in coming to this channel if you know exactly what I'm going to say before I say it, right? Speaking of which, help support this channel, become a monthly patron, patreon.com slash Leanna K. Well, I fixed my light. Um, the light is no fixing light. There's too much, there's too, too much stuff going on in the background here. Too much sunlight, but that's okay. I'm a little bit dark. Doesn't happen much. I'm very pale. Um, but, um, hello, Zelda. <laughs> Uh, there's cat shenanigans going on in the background, but um, I'll, I'll tilt it over so you can see the cat shenanigans because it's very cute. They're chomping each other. Um, now Momo's like the primary focus here, but that's okay. I'm going to talk and you guys can watch the cat shenanigans. That'll work. Um, but uh, yeah, I just, based on everything I've been reading about um, the upcoming consoles and like, yeah, it's great. There's going to be ray tracing and no load screens and uh, uh, solid state drives and all good stuff. But they're going to be really expensive. And people either own Switches or are going to be able to buy the Switch much less expensively than the, the PlayStation or the, the Xbox. Xbox Series X is a terrible name. Um, PS5, what do we call the Xbox X? Like, what is it? It's almost like the Xbox S, wait. I almost went, like, you know, SE Series X, but that's Xbox Sex. That'd probably sell. Um, but, um, they're both gonna be estimated. I've seen, uh, 450 bucks, $500, $600 American which means that's going to be a $750 console in Canada. That's a lot. And people are going to be very slow to buy them. I don't I don't think you can I think even $500 US people are going to hesitate at at 400, which is what they usually come out at. Um, people, people like whatever. That's that's a reasonable price Canadian. Even five hundred bucks, like four ninety nine. People will buy it, but anything more than that, all of a sudden, when you're talking about something over five hundred dollars, people start hesitating. I think you have to price these things to sell, knowing the the price of manufacture will eventually go down. But even then. People are going to choose one and then buy another one later. Personally, right now, I'm leaning towards the PlayStation, but I'm basically just going to wait until a game I like comes out. I'm sure there will be a Sony exclusive at launch that I am going to want. Um, I'm just not interested enough in Halo to, to jump at Halo. What is it? Halo Infinite? Is that what they're calling the most recent one? The name's just all mushed together. You know, Halo Fornicate. I don't know. God, I'm really on sex today, aren't I? Um, but uh, I'm not, because when they took out the couch co-op in Halo, it stopped my reason for playing Halo. I played Halo for those, like, four-player couch multiplayer things. Um, maybe with this soup-up, super-duper technology, they'll bring back more couch co-op. But uh, that'd be nice. But until then... I mean, that's one of the things you get on Switch, right? A lot of games with multiple players. It was designed for that. And even though the graphics aren't, like, the best, people don't care. At this point, people have come accustomed to load screens, as long as they're not too long and not too frequent. Uh, it's a nice thing for there to be no load screens. It's not an essential thing. And people are going to be, well, I'm having a perfectly good experience on the Switch. I don't need to buy anything right now. There aren't enough games for me to just 
take the plunge on a, I mean, let's face it, if the console's 500 bucks, then you got the additional controller and God knows how much those will be this generation. Um, and then the games on top of it, because ga- companies don't bundle shit anymore. Uh, they do if you wait with the special edition things and all that stuff. But you know what I mean? Like at launch, it's not, it's not like back in the day when you got the system and like a couple of games. That doesn't happen anymore. So you're talking $600 American just for your initial investment with a game and the con- and the second controller. And uh, maybe a lot of people don't buy a second controller because of, of uh, they don't play, they don't play two player or anything. But having a second controller is always good if you're me anyway, because if your first PlayStation controller stop, starts dying and you don't want to like play plugged in, you can you can reconfigure the second controller and just keep going. That's what I use my second controller for a lot. I play long times sessions anyway. Um, but that's a major investment. And so people are going to pick one or they're going to wait for a price drop. And at this point, there is absolutely no compelling reason to buy an Xbox one if you have a gaming PC like I do, because everything is playable on Windows. So I don't see a compelling need to buy an Xbox. I can play everything on my computer, right? So, you know, hence me leaning towards the PlayStation, but I have a Switch. And they're going to keep making games for the Switch. And I enjoy the experience of playing the Switch. Not so much in living room mode, but in handheld mode, I really enjoy it. It's a, it's a nice system. It feels good in the hand, you know. It's a it's a nice experience. The battery life is decent. Charge cable is super long, so you can play plugged in. I'm good. And I think a lot of people are going to be like, I'm good until some PlayStation exclusive comes along that makes them change their mind. So I don't suspect that un- unless... Unless, like, Sony just drops the mic at E3 this year, which I wouldn't put past them. But unless they're just like, we're going to make this so super awesome, um, I think people will wait. And I think it'll be kind of a slow start. But I think people who haven't bought a Switch yet will continue to buy the Switch. And there's a lot of growth opportunity with with the um the just the straight up portable version of the switch so i think nintendo's really on to something here and they don't tend to go head to head because the switch released kind of on its own schedule but i suspect that the switch will outsell both the ps5 and the microsoft the xbox series x terrible name terrible name um I, I suspect that the, the Switch is not done with us yet. You're going to continue to see those sales continue to climb. And the software is just going to, people are just going to start buying games for their Switch because they have it and they don't need the super duper graphics. They're, they're happy with lower graphics, but that are affordable and, and you still get the same basic experience. So that's my prediction. I'm interested in what you think. Like, like, like I'm saying, I'm saying this is somebody who will likely buy a PS5, but who doesn't see a compelling reason to buy an Xbox One because gaming PC, right? So let me know what you think. I'm interested in what you guys are thinking about where, where you're going to go this next uh, console cycle. If you are at all, if you're just like done with consoles and you're like PC only, thanks very much. Let me know that too. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see where people's heads are at here. And since you have all this money to buy a console, no, I'm kidding. Help support this channel, become a monthly patron, patreon.com slash Thanks for watching.